What's up guys, I hope you're well. Today what I'm gonna go over is a sumo deadlift. Now last week, we went over the regular deadlift, which as before, we're gonna do it mainly targets hamstrings, lower back, and then your bum. The difference between a regular and a sumo deadlift is it activates your, your, your bum and your hamstrings before your lower back. Secondly, for people that have got really long legs, this actually gives you uh, leverage to keep in that nice position where your hips are underneath your chest. What we see a lot of is if you're really tall, obviously I'm a sausage, but if compared to your torso, so if your leg, your leg length and you've got a small torso, being in a regular deadlift, like you should find the bar, takes you a long time, you could be in that rounded position. So a sumo deadlift is actually really good progression for someone from a rack pull who's new to deadlift or, or has just been doing hex bar or has really tight hips because one, it's gonna make you use your bum first, and two, the patterning stays the same, we can still get the strength adaptation, and you can still work your lower back with being in a safe position. The difference between this and a sumo is that literally in the name is that you have your legs wide, so your toes are gonna to be at 11 and one. Now, in the positioning of you, it's dependent on how tight your groin is. Some of you see so a lot of females, especially who pull like this, they pull outside the bar. But me, because I'm as tight as a door, I feel like I get stuck here, okay? So you're gonna go basically heels outside your shoulders and the same principle applies. I'm gonna shorten my rib cage and as I find the bar, I'm gonna push my shoulder blades back and down. I don't wanna stand in this, in this flex position because what will happen is you'll finish in that flex position. So shoulder blades back and down, abs tight. I'm gonna throw my hips back like in the first video so my weight goes behind me and find the bar. Now with my hands, you'll see the smooth of the bar. I want my hand on the line of the smooth. Again, very simply being, if it's on the smooth, it will slip. And then secondly, what we talked about before is about having my knuckles down. If my knuckles are open and I'm on the smooth, I'm gonna slip out, okay? So we're gonna feet here, shoulders back and down, elbows in my pocket, down to the bottom. Now, the main thing we don't wanna see here is that I have, a, I have a hip shift that I pull myself into the bar and as if I'm gonna try to squat on the bar, like this. Reason being, if I turn here, is that I'm underneath the bar and the bar's in front of me, okay? What you'll see is when I'm throwing my hips back over here, is that the bar's underneath my uh, armpit. That means the bar is centralized and in the middle. So I can breathe, brace, drive and finish. Now, with this, I always say, being a, 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 an analogy, is it's just about pushing a spot. I'm pushing at the bottom and I'm bringing to the top, okay? If you just pick it up, you're, getting, you're then gonna hear the click, you'll hear this off the floor. Now what I want to hear is knuckles down, breathe, brace, drive. Okay, me driving, you can hear there's no noise, and I'm pressing, and my chest is leading the movement, and then finishing. This is something that I've massively used for fighters especially, or power athletes, if they're new to the gym. Because it's a lot easier for them to understand the mechanics of it. We want to get people onto a regular deadlifting pattern as fast as we can, purely because it transfers to different things like a power clean or a snatch or a hand clean but if we're looking for maximal power we're looking to increase hip strength which is something that we all need whether you're a, a weekend warrior a fighter or a rugby player and then thirdly if you're trying to pull maximally this could actually give you more leverage because it's actually uh, not as far off the floor so last time one more time we're going to go knees and toes at 11 and 1 i'm going to pull so everything's nice and locked and this is going to be down down to the floor, breathe, brace, stand up from there. When in a wide position, putting the bar down is exactly the same thing. In your head, think hips and knees. Hips, <coughs> knees. In the next video, what I'm gonna go over uh, is a hex bar deadlift, as well as we're gonna go over a rack pull, and then I'm gonna